I have made significant purchases for the shop since the original shop tour video. So I thought it would be appropriate to do another shop tour video showing my current layout and setup with all the new tools in place. As you know, I bought a CNC machine. I also bought a jointer planer and I just recently acquired a drum sander with um, brush sanding capabilities. So I basically want you guys to see how everything relates to each other in the shop. And that's the purpose of this shop tour. Also, I would like to bring you guys in on a behind the curtain or behind the scenes as far as how I produce these YouTube videos, the camera that I use and set up that I use for editing and so forth. So I will also be doing a tour of my YouTube studio. Again, everything is evolving and um, I would like to bring you guys through that process. So you're going to see some mess, you're going to see some disorganization. But that's stuff I haven't got into or tackled yet. So I think it will be very interesting um, to see, you know, the whole process. It's a shame I didn't document a lot of the stuff from the very beginning. Uh, I might even, come to think about it, I might even throw in some B-roll. Because I might have a few pictures. They, they may not be very good. They may be dark. Showing the garage when I had little to nothing. So you'll have a, 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 an idea of the humble beginnings. I hope you enjoy this video. And um, if you have any questions about any of the tools or is anything in there that you would be interested in finding out more about as you watch it, just leave it in the comment. And again, if you're a subscriber, thank you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I invite you to subscribe. Enjoy.
I thought I had some photos of my original Craftsman table saw, contractor table saw, and my Bosch compound sliding matter saw, but I didn't do a good job of documenting in the early days, so that photo I just show is my oldest photo of anything in the shop. And even then I had quite a few tools compared to what I started with. This Mr. Cool HVAC split unit was a game changer for me. I cannot stress, if you can get this, get it, it's worth it. Welcome to the desert of the real. On the right is my green screen. Here's my setup for shooting and recording my talking heads. Most times now I do it in front of the CNC or at my MFT table, I bring this whole thing down to the shop. These are my Lumix cameras, G7s that I use in the shop. This is my workstation. To the side of it is a eGPU. On top of the eGPU is my audio mixer. Besides that whole setup is my multifunction printer scanner. It also does fax, but who, who does fax anymore? I do everything by email. That big thing that looks like a computer is actually my bank of hard drives. Coming into frame now is my mic, it's a Rode Procaster. It's a very good mic, it's the mic that you're listening to right now in my voiceover. I intend to use that in the future also for um, podcasts. This is one of my monitoring speakers. I drink tea, not coffee, you can see my teacup. Uh, you can see the Mac Mini, that's what I use for uh, all my computer needs for CAD and for editing. My stream deck is what I use for controlling software with macros and hardware too. This is my keyboard, wireless, it's from Logitech. And this is my mouse that is also um, by Logitech. The screen is a 34 inch curved screen from Dell. I edit my videos using Final Cut. This is my streaming rig. I haven't used it for streaming as yet, only tests. I, this is a whole black magic set of equipment. Paid good money for that. I hope it pans out. <laughs> it's a work in prog progress. I plan on some um, additional investments in the future. 
I currently use an iPhone 10 as a third angle or even a talking head um, to shoot talking head video every once in a while. But um, I plan on replacing that, not replacing the phone, but as far as using it for video, I plan on getting another Lumix, Panasonic Lumix camera to be my A camera. I use a Shuttle Pro, which is an, another type of um, micro keypad, but I use that specifically for controlling actions in Final Cut Pro. I use a 3D connection mouse to manipulate my models in 3D. This studio is also my studio for doing 3D CAD and drafting in general. So I also have my Canon large format printer in this room. I use a software by the name of FormZ for my 3D modeling. It's basically, think of it as um, SketchUp on steroids. I hope you enjoyed this shop tour and peek behind the scene. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching and have a great day. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to be notified when new content is dropped on this channel, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and drop a comment down below.